Hello, here is IC talking. My name is IC. <laughs> um, this is my first uh, video for this channel. I have been thinking about doing this video for a couple of months already. Today in this video, I'm just uh, going to classify eight categories of tea. The first type of tea is green tea. It's the most ancient tea and there is no fermentation at all in this tea. The standard process of this tea is just uh, cleaning the green, rolling, and oven dry. The critical process for the green tea is uh, cleaning the green. Um, there are a lot of ways to clean the green. The, uh, it can be pan frying, steaming, toasting, and others. For the traditional Chinese green tea right now, most of them we use um, pan frying, uh, except that if the tea master want to make, uh, um, if the tea master want to make Japanese mocha green tea powder and then they will steam it because that's how the way to make pocha green tea powder <laughs> so um, well in other words there's not of um, Japanese mocha green tea they are actually not from Japan they are from China even though you bought in Japan they may still in China I think you should look way way it's made or uh way the resource is <coughs> how something like that and uh, um I, I will make more video talk about green tea yeah um so the second one is um it is white tea white tea is slightly fermented the white tea has a simplest process it's just the sun dry uh, the tea master will choose a bright sunshine day to make the white tea. If they are not lucky and that there is not enough sunshine to dry the, uh, the tea, and then they will go into oven dry with a very low temperature for hours and hours until the tea is become like uh, only remaining 5% of the water. So that's the white tea. And uh, uh, the third one is the yellow tea. The yellow tea is lightly fermented. Um, you barely find the yellow tea, yellow tea in the market. The, the process to make a, right, make a good yellow tea is really complicated, it's hard, it's, it's, it's not easy. Uh, the process of yellow tea is really similar to the green tea, like king in the green, rolling, and I add one more step after rolling, it's uh, simmering to yellow. Uh, with a very low temperature and then up and dry. So uh, the critical part for the, the for the uh, yellow tea is a similar thing. And um, so um, it takes, it sometimes takes short, sometimes takes like, very long, even a few days um, with the low temperature and until the tea needs become yellow. So the soup will become like uh, rainy, the leaves become yellow, the soup will be yellow, the tea soup will be yellow. So um, that's the uh, yellow tea. And then the fourth one is um, Wulong tea. The Wulong tea is like 10 to 90% fermented. So means can be slightly fermented or lightly or half or deeply so uh, the process for the oolong tea is i mean the, 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 the standard process for the oolong tea is the withering rocking and the kidney green rolling and oven dry 
So the um, critical process for the Oolong tea is rocking and it also that's when the fermentation occurs. Um, how good the tea would be and uh, how uh, the tea will be is really depends on the rocking process. How often they rock, how um, um, rock for how long, and when stop rocking and stop, uh, when stop and when stop rocking start a tiny green. Those all depends on quality of oolong tea and even the types besides the species of the tea species because the tea species can um, point to uh, one type of tea and also one species can make a different type of tea, different type of oolong tea I mean. So this is um, uh, about the oolong tea. The thing I want to add to oolong tea is um, in, in least more than once to oven dry. So how many times the oven dry is depends the tea master, how he want or she want. Uh, and that's for the oolong tea. And then the fifth one is black tea. Hmm, black tea is 80 to 100 percent fermented, and uh, um, you can call it deep fermented or full fermented. And some people even don't want to call it fermented. They like to call it just uh, oxidized it. Um, whatever you want. The black tea is the one of the most popular tea right now. Black tea and the green tea. Uh, I mean, around the world, of course, I mean. In China, it's always green tea and oolong tea. Don't ask me why, I don't know. Uh, the process for the black tea is withering, rolling, and the fermentation and oven dry. So, uh, I'm possibly, probably you notice that there is no cleaning green process for the uh, black tea. It's just uh, withering and then right directly to rolling. And then it's fermentation going on. Um, the fermentation process is like, uh, this, this is natural, natural fermentation. There's no any chemical added. Because the tea, the, it, this is the old traditional way. There is no way to add any chemicals. And the, usually the fermentation of black tea takes about hours or overnight, just overnight. And then um, oven dry the tea for uh, at least twice. And then a lot of traditional Chinese tea is dark tea. The special type of tea has the post fermentation. So uh, in old days, I really mean before 1970s. The way to make the dark tea is quite simple. It's just a withering, cleaning the green, rolling, and can press the tea to a cake, or stick, or whatever. And just compress the tea and then let the air dry. So that's, uh, that's how the old day they make the dark tea. And the post fermentation process is going on after air drying and year by year. And because of the process of tea, so uh, the fresh tea, the fresh ones, is really just a green tea. That is like rough green tea. And then yes, as years pass by, it becomes naturally more and more fermented and then the flavor of the tea is become it changed as well and the flavor of the tea changes too usually it takes about 20 years to get full fermented in general chinese people like to drink the um, the fermented tea full fermented tea more than the new ones so um, therefore, they then they find another way to shrink the time, and of course, it would be need a little bit different uh, to make the tea. 
uh, so right now there's another way, another way to make the dog pee. So the process is uh, wiggling, keeping the green, rolling, and pipe up for the fermentation. And then air dry. So the as you see the um, for, for they pile the, the the process they added is piling up for the fermentation. This fermentation is takes about uh, it really depends. It can be up to three months. That's uh, dog tea. So if you find some one um, in the market, if you find some dog tea, they said it has been fermented for 40, 20 years. I think you really need to be careful because actually they, they, they maybe they just use a new method and to, um, to make the dog tea and to taste like aged tea, okay? Uh, I'll make more video to talk about that. Um, all right. So, um, so that's six of the traditional tea, and it's going all the way. Uh, as if you rewind the the video, this video, if you rewind this video, you can see that only green tea hasn't been fermented. All tea has been fermented. All tea has been fermented, so um, the green tea is so tea, and but in the different but the fermentation it occur in a different part of the process. Okay, and then the seventh one, and then the seventh one is blended tea. Some people call it uh, scented tea, and basically it means the tea leaves blend with others, uh, like uh, other type of teas, um, other different type of teas, um, or herbs, herbs, or um, fruits, and yeah, some things, something like those, or coffee. <laughs> so um, this is some um, uh, when. This is blended tea. The last type, the, the last category is um, herbal tea or fruit mixed tea. Usually, it means um, this type of tea don't have the tea leaves at all. Um, usually, they don't have the caffeine. And, um, it's kind of it's kind of popular right now. The good thing about this tea is usually with the uh, um, health effect or as a supplement. A lot of them are actually older recipe. It's not like uh, some, somebody make it up. Okay. I um, I think that's all for today. I will definitely make more videos to um, clarify each type of tea. And also, please feel free to make a comments below or ask questions or let me know what you are interested in about tea. Thank you for watching and see you next time.